Hey all, hope you all are good. Welcome back. In today's video, we are going to see about SQL sensor in Airflow. So, in Apache Airflow, SQL sensor is a sensor used to monitor the status of SQL query. It waits for a specified SQL query to return a result, indicating a certain condition has been met before proceeding with the workflow. It is useful for tasks like waiting for a database table to be populated or for a specific condition to be true before executing downstream task in a workflow. So let's see from an example. So I have a sample DAG been created here in which I have imported all the necessary libraries including the SQL sensor library. So it's been imported from airflow.sensor.sql sensor class then i've defi defined the default arguments then i've initiated a DAG with DAG id demo sql sensor then i've specified the start date set the scheduled interval to none and catch up to false at first i'm checking whether the table exists or not in the database so for that i'm using the connection id postgres localhost so let me show you so if we go to the admin and go to connection so here you can see i have already created a connection with name postgres localhost so its connection type is postgres so if you don't have the postgres library installed you need to install it by using pip install apache airflow providers postgres after this library is being installed you can view connection type as postgres being visible here then we need to provide the host which in my case is localhost then we are providing database which can be overwritten by the parameters then we we need to provide the login and password so by default password is not visible due to security reasons then comes the port so which is set by default 5432 so the next task we will be creating is of type sql sensor so let us create so what i am doing i will be checking whether the records exist in this table or not so the first parameter it takes is task id Next, it takes the SQL to check. So we will be che checking using the exist and then we will be providing the count. So what this query will do, it will return true if record exists inside this table personal info and return false if there are zero records inside the table personal info. Now we will be providing the connection ID which will be Postgres localhost. Then I will be providing the poke interval and timeout. Let's set the poke interval to 5 seconds and timeout to 180 seconds. This means the SQL sensor checks every 5 seconds if there are records inside the table personal info and it will check for 180 seconds. So after 180 seconds if there are no records inside the table this SQL sensor task will fail. Now let's set the dependency. So after create table postgres we will be adding check record records exist and then at the end we have a data processing task of type dummy operator. So the flow is something like this. First we are creating the table if it does not exist then we are checking if the record exists 
in that table and then we will be running the data processing task. Let's save it and copy the code from my local to server where Airflow is running. Let me refresh it. So let me open the DAG demo SQL sensor. And let's go to the graph view. So you can see I have specified all the tasks in sequence. Now let's run our code. So here you can see the create table task is running and it got completed. Now if we go to the SQL sensor and inside logs you will see that it's running the task select exist select one from personal info and let's see from the table so if we run this command select star from table you can see zero records are present so what it will do it will poke the table or you can say you can it will poke and run the statement until it will return true so here you can see it is poking and poking until the condition is met. Now let's do one thing. Let's insert the records into this table. Now run this command. You can see the tables, the records exist inside this table. Now let's see what will happen for the SQL sensor task. So you can see that once the records are being inserted, the SQL sensor returns true and mark the SQL sensor task as success and then you can see at the end the data processing task ran. So in this video we have seen the significance of SQL sensor to check the output of SQL query and run the downstream task.